Hi everybody, this is Chris. First up, I want to take a moment and thank all of the new subscribers to my YouTube channel. Turns out someone had posted a couple of my videos to reddit.com and before I knew it I'd gotten a couple of hundred subscriptions. I totally did not expect that, so uh, thanks everybody for subscribing and now I feel a little obligated to make more videos. So the first video I'm going to make today is uh, demonstrating something that actually wasn't in my world tour video but I thought would be kind of neat to show off. And it's right here, it's right next to my spawn point. I call it the Russian Roulette Room. So let me show you how it works. You just walk forward and step on this pressure plate, which lets you in, and then it locks you in. You can't get out. And all you do is you have a button here. When you push this button, one of two outcomes will occur. Either these dispensers will start shooting arrows at you until you die, typically, and that's the lose state, or if you push the button, the door will open, a chime will play, and you'll receive a gift. So let's give it a try. So you heard the chime, the door opened, you got 10 seconds to walk out, and you see it dispensed a gift of a saddle. And you heard the door close, so that was me winning. Let's give it another try. I'm going to put this saddle back here. So let's try my hand again. See how lucky I am. I'll push the button. Oh, not so lucky that time. <laughs> there you go. Now you know why I built it right next to my spawn point. So that is the Russian Roulette Room. There's one more feature. If you flick this lever down, it'll hold the door open and you can go inside and pick up your stuff in case you don't want to actually play. And you can flick the switch back up to, to arm it. Let's give it one more try and see if I win or lose this time. Here we go. Oh, no. Not so lucky that time. <laughs> Better stop while I'm ahead. Okay. Again, I can just flick this lever up, or down, excuse me, and pick up my stuff and get back out. So, that's the Russian Roulette Room. Um, I built this one day when I was thinking, uh, I tried to build something one time and I got really frustrated because I kept screwing it up and I wanted a way to easily kill myself uh, just to kind of let off steam. And so I built this room, but then I thought, wouldn't it be funner if you didn't know whether you were going to die or not? And so that's why it turned into Russian Roulette. So for those of you who uh, don't really like redstone, you could probably stop the video now. But for those who do, uh, I'm going to show you how this thing works. So I've got a little access door here. All right, and then over here, this is the redstone that makes the magic happen. So it's actually not that complicated. That uh, once I explain it, I think it'll make a little more sense. So first of all, over here in the corner, I have this great big clock. So you can see it toggling on and off here. Just a great big redstone clock. Now I know before you write comments that there are much easier ways to make long delay clocks now. Um, but this was uh, the way I decided to do it, kind of simple. Um, it also has the benefit of always working even after a reload. Some of those uh, redstone clocks that use the uh, redstone repeaters as delays don't always automatically start back up. But this one always works. So, so there's this big clock. It's just a kind of a delay. And it's toggling between two states, which you can see the wires change here. These two wires go into two... Uh, AND gates. So you see these upside down T things here. These are two AND gates. Um, and what's happening is that you can see they're switching between the two gates. Either one of them's off or the other one's off. Um, the other, So that one and that one turn on and off. This one and this one stay on until the button over here is pushed. And that's the button in the room um, which leads to both of these AND gates. And basically the way it works is Whichever AND gate has both its redstone torches off at the time you push the button, or when you push the button, you cause both of them to turn off, that is the outcome of the game. So you'll either win or you'll lose. And it's all based on timing. There's no real true randomness to this. It's just based on the fact that you don't know which AND gate will be active when you push the button. There is one more little bit here where um, there's this really fast... Um, uh, I think it's, a, it's like a pulse thing here that just 
basically makes it so that when you push the button, it just sends a quick pulse rather than a long button delay type uh, redstone signal. That way it prevents the chance that you have both occurring. That way you only win or lose. So anyway, um, if you activate this AND circuit, this is the one that you get when you win, I believe. No, no, this is the one you get when you lose. So it goes under here and it goes into this bit here, which is a monostable circuit, which is just a fancy way of having uh, redstone stay on for a few seconds before it goes back off. And I think this lasts for like six to eight seconds. Um, that comes into over here, underneath there, into this bit, which is basically a rapid pulser. And the rapid pulser sends pulses really fast for eight seconds into these arrow dispensers, and that's what causes them to shoot. So that's the lose scenario. But if you activate this and gate here, this is when you win. So again, it goes into a monostable circuit, has its own monostable circuit here. Again, lasts for about six to eight seconds. I forget how long. And then it goes over and down to here where the note blocks play. And then it goes up to here, again with another little bit of delay, and it ejects your gift, and at the same time goes down here and then activates the door up there, and then holds the door open for the eight, six to eight seconds for you to get out before it closes it again. And so that's it. That's how this works, and that is the Russian Roulette Room. I thought it was kind of clever. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll make another video here real soon. I know I've got some requests for some things. People were wanting to know a little bit more about how the uh, mob dome works, and even some people asking about how my station is works, my minecart station. So look forward to those videos in the near future. All right. Thanks for watching.